I think I'm going to start by talking a little bit about my process because that is what's largely different from most other artists that I know that are working because um, it is mostly largely landscape paintings and you know we all know dozens of landscape painters and really good ones but um, I started working in natural materials in college um, when I went and visited Paladero Canyon and I was really obsessed with Georgia O'Keeffe and I saw all those colors in her paintings are in the cliffs there and I was like well why, why don't I just like make my own paint which was really naive because making oil paint is really really difficult you have to grind it to such a fine grit that it's it's just hours and hours of work that I was way too lazy to do. So I just started like gluing things onto a canvas, which is really similar to what I used to do as a kid when I'd like take Elmer's glue and then like pour dirt on it and make little designs. And I started with like mainly browns, a few pinks maybe, and then lots of sticks and shells and different things. And they were really chunky and really unwieldy. Um, probably impossible to dust after they were on the wall for a year or two. Mm -hmm. um, and then slowly I started finding more colors and as my palette expanded I got really interested in color and just like I can show people that different colors exist if you just look for them. And I was doing abstract work which now I find pretty boring but which was like largely about how bright can I make the color seem even if it's not that bright to begin with. And then I think I was just afraid of drawing and afraid of, of doing anything figurative. And I slowly started doing some kind of like made up landscapes that were really, I also think, quite boring. And finally got to the place where I realized that what would really work best is if I was doing like places that I actually know and care about because I've always cared so much about environmentalism and our connection with the environment and our culture is so divested from our connection to the earth. We're so separate from anything in nature. And so I was like trying to get there with using dirt, but when I started actually painting the places that we live, it kind of all clicked together for me. And since then, it's been largely an obsession with how much detail can I get? How much like the real place can I make it look, even though I'm using this medium that's not traditional? And I don't know, does anyone have any questions? So how do you get the colors? I mean, what are those colors? So those colors are just different colors of dirt. They are largely so out of range. You still use Elmer's glue? I use acrylic, I use clear acrylic medium, which is really similar to Elmer's glue. But archival. Yes, archival. <laughs> archival and um, More nice case. Free. and o a larger over time. The over time, I think acrylic's a little bit better. Yeah. I love how your bio mentions making, and, and I might obviously be par paraphrasing right now, but I'm thinking of those soups with the grasses and the dirt when you're a kid. Yes, yes, I was always like obsessed with like mud pies. Yes. Except actually, I had a friend who was older than me and we made wine coolers. <laughs> like out of all the berries. Because <laughs> that was what was popular. I don't know why. I love that. But yeah, I was always like really into um, the dirt and really messy. Even when I was painting yeah. in oils and stuff, it was so messy and all about like the textureness of it. And I'm not sure who who can say, I mean, very few people I feel like wouldn't be able to say, I remember that moment as a child, and wow, I, now I have a connection to your painting. I just, I, I love that. I, I love seeing that. So So where would you find green dirt? So you can find green dirt um, outside and through Moab, mm -hmm. um, like in amongst the red. Mm -hmm. Um, I have some green from New Mexico. I actually brought a few jars of dirt to show people. Um, yeah, New Mexico, but like that Four Corners area and out in Utah, there's kind of a lot of green going on. Mm. Yeah, and then like wherever I go, I just kind of bring a shovel with me and, and 
bags, and I try and get out of her cuts because they're already like pretty disturbed. You know, I'm not gonna like make a big hole, or even a little crack. And my white story is kind of sad right now because I almost out of the really pure pure white which is a volcanic ash i have geologist friends that came from yellowstone that was deposited in salida Whoa. and this lady in like i guess like 12 years ago came up to me i had a piece in a show in salida and she was like i have this weird white stuff in my yard Do you want some? and i went and got it yes. <laughs> and talked to my geologist friend and it's volcanic ash and it feels like talcum powder it's the funnest craziest texture ever, but I'm almost out, and I can't, I have not yet been able to find more. Wow. I know where there is. Oh, Do you know okay. where there is? Ash fall in the Nice. Wow. Yeah, and then, um, I have some white from Callahan that's, like, a clay, and it's just not quite as bright, so it's not, like, total disaster, but, um, I've slowly realized over the years that it, it really pays to write your final markers down. Mm -hmm. Addresses, yeah, because you do eventually run out even if you get a gallon or two, yeah, especially the things that you use the most. And then, like, all my blacks um, are coal dust, and I just found a really good coal scene outside of Durango, cut right through the road, and got a bunch of coal. Are you allowed to use Johnson and Johnson? <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought about that, like, our bugs gonna start eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you introduced figures into on the dolls here. Thank you, and I think that was like a thing because I'm just so terrified of drawing. Like, if I can make a landscape that you can tell where it is, can I do it here? You can tell that that's all they do. You can see the little plastic box. Yeah. 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 So I'm actually really excited about starting to do some figure things, and one day soon I'm going to do a full. Face and see how that goes.